Okay, so hello guys and welcome to today's video. Now in today's video, we are going to be talking about the application of the basic chords that we learned in the last lesson. So let's get right into it. Okay, so with the chords we learned, just a quick recap, we learned that there's three basic chords, major, minor, minor seven flat five chords. So now let's apply them now. Let's apply them. So with um, the major scale, depending on which note you are playing in the major scale, there's a certain chord that goes along with it. So with whenever you're playing the one, right, we play the major chord. Whenever we play the two, we play a minor chord. Whenever we play the three, we play a minor chord. Whenever we play a four, we play a major chord. Whenever we play a five, we play a major chord. Whenever we play a six, we play a minor chord. And then when we play the seven, that's where we play the minor seven flat five chord or you can just play a minor chord. Whichever one you prefer is up to you. So with that, now let's go and delve deeper into it. So with C major scale again, let's quickly go through what the notes are again. So we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then C. So as I said, the C, so the first note of the major scale is going to be played with a major chord. So we're talking about C major here. So we're gonna, so the C is the first note and we're gonna play a major chord. So we're gonna play C major, which is the one, three, five, remember? One, three, five. Or if you wanna play the full chord, Now, the next note in the C major scale is D. Now, it's going to be a minor chord. So now we have to work out what D minor is. So what does that mean? So you see for every note that you play, whichever chord you want to play with that note, you see you have to take that note to almost be its own scale. So you work out the major chord or minor chord according to that scale. So we're going to work out a D minor chord now. So if we're going to work out a D minor chord, we have D. So the two sharp in D is what? So two is going to be E. And then the sharp is going to be F. Now the five of D is what? So if we are two sharp here, this is going to be three. Three is F sharp. Four is going to be G. And then five is going to be A. So this is a D minor chord. Now if you want to play the seventh of it, so this is five, so B is going to be six, and then seven is going to be C sharp. So we no, seven, the seventh in, or the six sharp, sorry, is going to be C. Okay, so now the third chord, E, is going to be an E minor chord. So once again, we take E to be like its own scale. So E minor, so we have our finger on E. So the two sharp of E is what? So two is F sharp. So the sharp of two of the F sharp is gonna be G. So then here's gonna be three. Three is gonna be G sharp. So four is gonna be A and our five is gonna be B. So that's our chord. This is our E minor chord. Then if you want to play 
the full chord so we're going to add a six sharp on it so six is going to be c sharp remember and then we sharp sharp that is going to be d so so this is our full chord of e minor so e minor seven chord so now the next chord is f and remember the fourth chord is going to be a major so we're going to work out the f major chord we have to use the f major scale so so f is our one our three is going to be a our five is going to be c if we want to play the seventh so d is going to be the six and e is going to be the seven okay so now g g is our five and this is going to be a major chord as well so g is one the third of g is b the fifth of g is d so this is the major chord now if you want to play the full chord the seventh so remember you're looking for the six sharp so d is five then e is going to be six then sharp that f no yeah so this is the no sorry it's gonna be a seven not a minor so so this is the g major seven chord so this is six here and then seven is f sharp so g major seven so now a is our sixth chord and the sixth chord goes with a minor so a we're looking for a minor so we have to look at the two sharp of a so two is going to be b sharp c so if this is two sharp then c sharp is our third then d is our four then a then e is our five okay so this is a minor then if you want to play a minor seven so this is our five we look for the six which is going to be f sharp then we sharp it one semitone up so our seventh note or to play the full chord of the six sharp note is going to be g so this is a sharp minor i mean this is a minor a minor seven sorry a minor seven then now b minor so b minor seven flat five so we have a hand on b so the two sharp of b so two is going to give us c sharp we sharp it is going to give us d then if you want to play it as a minor chord no problem so what we look for we look for the five so this is three here if this is two sharp then this is three so e flat is going to be our three that means our four is going to be e then our five is going to be f sharp So if you want to play it as a minor seven, okay. So if this is our five, then we're gonna look for the six sharp now. So we know our six is gonna be G sharp, then we sharp that A. So this is B minor seven. But remember that the ideal chord is a minus seven flat five. So the five, we flat the five. So this is the chord. Okay. So if we're to take away the seven, so we just have the triad chord is like this. And then as a full chord, we get this. So now let's play um, the C major scale with chords. Firstly, I'll first of all I'll play in triad form, and then I'll play with full chords. Okay, so let's go. So C. Um, it's the first chord and the first chord always corresponds with a major so C major the second chord in a major scale is a minor chord so D minor the third chord in a major scale corresponds with a minor chord E minor the fourth chord in a major scale corresponds with a major so F major the fifth chord in a 
major scale is a major chord. So G major. The sixth chord in a major scale is going to be a minor chord. Then the seventh chord is going to be either a minor chord or minor seven flat five. So if you play it as a minor chord, or if you play as a minor seven flat five, and then back to C. So now let's play it as four chords. So as we know, a major chord for the one, so a major chord, four major with the seventh on top. The second chord is going to be a minor, so we play it with the seventh on top. Same with the E, E is going to be a minor chord. F is going to be a major chord for C. G is going to be a major chord. A is going to be a minor chord. Then our B minor, let's play the minor one first. So we have this. Or if we play the minor seven flat five. And then back to C. So that's how we apply those chords. So in the PowerPoint I prepared um, for the major scale lesson, um, lower in the PowerPoint, I've just basically explained all of this there. So how each chord fits what note. And uh, yeah, go through it, um, practice it, practice it, practice it. Make sure you get it down and so on and so forth. And yeah, in the next video, we're going to be learning about inversions. Now, to understand inversions, you really, really, really need to understand what we've just done in this lesson. If you don't understand this lesson properly, then inversions may be a bit difficult for you. So please, please, please make sure you understand this lesson. Any questions, feel free to ask. Don't hesitate. Make sure you ask. Make sure you understand what we've done and make sure you know it so that inversions is easy for you to learn and understand. So, see you in the next video.